in this tutorial I'll be going to with you um, a stock called Sentry Link Sentry Inc um, you just paste it in Google and click enter this thing will appear this is the full name of the stock and CTR is the Nasdaq symbol if I want to buy right now um, I have to pay 11.95 US dollars for one stock and um, it's a billion size firm so it's a big firm and it pays 8.37 percent dividend I just want to point out that companies that are paying dividend that means they're financially very strong which is a positive sign because after paying their creditors loans liabilities they still have extra money that extra money pays to shareholders as dividends which is brilliant so any firm that has extra money that means they're financially strong this firm is paying dividend that means they're financially strong which is a positive sign now let's look at Wikipedia and see when was this founded I can see founded 1930 and um, let's go back and see what the employees have to say about it I'll just copy this exactly paste it here type in the reviews enter and I just want to see there are 5100 reviews and it's 3.5 star please read through the pros and cons yourself and check out the salaries they're paying the photos the jobs listed and the questions asked now I want to see the reviews in Glassdoor as well and um, let's have a look um, I can see 3,800 reviews and it's 2.9 star. Please read through the read through the reviews yourself, the pros and cons. Check out the jobs listed, the salaries they're paying, the interview questions, the benefits they're getting, and the photos. And uh, now I want to see. I want to go to Yahoo Finance, and I want to see the salaries of key executives as well. So I'll just paste it in here and don't be worried by different um, symbols just click the one nasdaq symbol ctl and um, go to profile and check out the sector industry and the full-term employees and i can see five key executives but four of their salaries have been shown one it says not applicable now it's up to you to find out why it's not applicable because the more information we have about the salaries the more transparency there is and uh, let's go to Justia patents and see if this firm has any patents or not so I will just paste it here and click enter and um, please look at applicant or assignee because these are people who have full rights of the patent and I can see it in 2012 they have a patent 2014 they have a patent and um, now I can see that that's fine and um, so they have two patents which are like uh, 2014 is kind of a recent patent but um that's fine so the more patent a firms have the more stronger it is um it's difficult to beat that firm so it's brilliant now let's go to macro trend i want to see some of the ratios click price ratio price book ratio and paste in ctl and i just want to explain you briefly if price book ratio is less than one that means stock is at discount it's cheap it's undervalued you must buy it because it's very cheap if it's more than one that means stock is expensive the higher the number goes the more expensive it will get so let's see when it loads this website takes a little time to load because it has a lot of data so don't worry about it be patient but once it's loaded it will make your life quite easy please let me know if you have any questions for me or if you have any requests regarding a stock that you want me to do research on i'll do i'll do it for you and uh, if you have any questions for me or if you would like to connect with me please let me know as well so we are just waiting for it to load and then we'll see Okay. so right now it's 0.96 which means that the stock is cheap because it's less than one so it's four percent right now it's four percent discount the stock is on sale four percent and um, I'll just show you briefly if I go to 2019 March um, the stock is three percent on sale because you can see vertically up somebody who bought in March 2019 they paid eleven point nine nine dollars to buy something that was twelve point four two dollars worth so they got three percent discount and uh, somebody who bought in for example 2008 to December they got like nearly 60 
60% discount which is a lot of discount and if you just see vertically up somebody who bought in 2008 December they paid $12.11 to buy something that was $31 worth so they got nearly 60% discount so but right now it's uh, 0.96 which means it's 4% off 4% discount that's brilliant now let's have a look at other ratios I want to see current ratio if the current ratio is less than one that means stock is risky because liabilities are more than assets if the current ratio is 1.5 or more than that that means stock is safe it has good good margin of safety so it's brilliant time to buy so look for 1.5 or more than that for it to be brilliant let's have a look it's loading right now so we ha we need to wait up for a while okay so right now I can see that right now it's 0 0.7 it's less than one that means liabilities are more than assets you can see vertically up it's a dangerous stock it's a risky stock and let's look at the previous trend has it ever been 1.5 or more than that that's my question so let's have a look no it hasn't so we have data since 2005 up to now since recent 14 years it has never been 1.5 so it's very risky stock it's always been less than 1.5 so since 14 years recent 14 years it's always been less than 1.5 and not only that if you just notice that it's even less than it's less than one so you know it's just once or twice maybe it has been more than one and it's always been less than one since 2005 up till now so which means that since recent 14 years the liabilities has always been more than assets which means the stock is very risky and let's go to debt equity ratio this ratio will tell me if the stock is mainly operating on debt or equity I'm looking for 0.5 or less than that for it to be brilliant let's have a look right now it's 2.69 i'm looking for 0.5 or less than that right now it's very very there's a lot of debt so you can see that the debt is nearly 2.69 times more than equity which is very dangerous you can so it means the company is mainly operating on debt which is very dangerous it's a risky stock let's see has it ever been 0.5 or less than that okay so since we have data since 2005 march up till now since recent 14 years it has never been 0.5 or less than that so this stock is very risky in terms of debt since 14 years consistently it is a risky stock in terms of debt there's a lot of debt compared to equity let's go to return on equity um i'm looking for eight percent or more than that for it to be brilliant let's have a look once it once it is loaded
Okay, I can see that there is a minus return on equity, which is not good. Uh, there's a minus return on equity, and uh, it has been below 8% quite a lot, and then at minus. So the consistency is not very good. Since 2005, up till, I would say, up till 2011 March, it has always been 8% or more than that. That's a good return we're looking at. But since 2011 up till now, the return has not been really good, not 8%. Uh, at least it has not been really good. And there is a minus equity return on equity as well. And recently it's a minus equity as well. So I would say in terms of return on equity, recently it's not doing very good.